that she was not fit to perform. She stumbled her way through a few songs, tried to strain a few notes here and there. Uh, she walked off stage. She was booed by the audience. Uh, she left her backing band to try to fill in the gaps. Uh, and this was a crowd which turned very angry because uh, this is one of Europe's poorest countries. Wages here, average monthly wage, just about £250 a month. And some people, as you say, had paid £40 to be there. Uh, so for 90 minutes, uh, she stumbled her way through the songs. She had been under strict, strict instructions not to drink on this European tour. The hotel staff here in Belgrade and on every leg of this 12 uh, trip tour were under instructions to remove the alcohol from the minibar in her hotel bedroom. But that clearly seemed not to have worked and she seemed far too inebriated to perform on stage. She left immediately after the concert last night here in Belgrade. She's on her way to Istanbul, which is the next ste uh, step of her tour. She's meant to perform there tomorrow. Uh, her management apparently didn't make any comment when she left, although I'm told that her security staff looked rather disappointed. Uh, and the organisers here are waiting to put out an official comment until they've spoken to her management team. But, uh, of course, Amy Winehouse checked out of reha a rehabilitation clinic in London, the Priory, recently for drug and alcohol addiction. It was hoped that this tour might mark a new start for her, uh, but clearly that is not the case. And I think that this, this uh, start of her 12-step uh, tour here in Belgrade will be remembered for all the wrong reasons, as Amy Winehouse uh, was simply too drunk to perform.